happen. Well, I don't know if it never happened, but I do know he does take everything personal and, and everything that he does, cards, whatever. I, I was in a room with him for, I don't know, five hours one time, day of a game. He wouldn't let us leave. Me, Tom Chambers, Ty Corbin. It was an exhibition game and he would not let us leave. And we were stiff. I called Cotton, said, Cotton, I can't go. He said, that's okay, I was gonna hold you out. Uh, Tom called him up. Cotton, I'm sore, I can't go, that's okay. I wasn't gonna play you. And Ty Corbin wouldn't dare do it, right? He said, <laughs> I'm not doing it. So Jordan stands up in the room and he says, you tell that boy Dan Marley, I got something for him tonight. And now I stood up, I couldn't hardly walk. I mean, literally, we had played the night before, traveled that day. I was stiff as a boy. He would not, it was Scottie Pippen in the room, Horace Grant. I mean, we just playing this game called Tunk, okay? And we just going at it. And he looked at Tom and I, he said, I'm gonna give your boy 40. In an exhibition game? Yeah, we like, who? Dan. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. Bet, bet 100, bet 200. I took the bet. Tom took the bet. Oh no. <laughs> so he starts the game and he's just going nuts. I'm try I'm over there still stiff. I got heat packs under my clothes, man. I'm like, <laughs> stiff. This man's out there going crazy. And Tom and I sitting there looking at him like, this dude is just insane. So he had about 34. And he walks over to the bench. And he catch he catches the ball. He catches it. He looks at Tom and I he's like, get that money ready. He catches the ball, <laughs> and Dan's guarding him. He reverse pivots on him, so Dan's got to back up, backed up, and he went right, and he just tried to tear the rim down. Tongue wagging, he went down like this, right, and holding up 400. <laughs> Nobody knew what the four was, right? <laughs> and so we're looking. So timeout, Tom, Cotton called a timeout, and Michael came over after the timeout. He said, Cotton, your boys – they were playing cards with me all day. Told on us. <laughs> so that's why, oh yeah, so that's why, yeah, so that's why y'all not playing. That's why they not playing. And they bet me too. I told him I was gonna give your boy Dan Marley 40. And he had 30, he had 30, 36, 38. And we sitting over there. And Cotton turns to Dan, who's a rookie, right? Cause Dan supposedly locked Jordan up, you know, in mm, the Olympics, mm, right? Mm -hmm. And Cotton looks at Dan, I said, Dan, what did you do to Michael? Just messing with him. And Dan was like, I didn't do anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> we fell out laughing. And he went, man, he dunked for the 40 on everybody. And look, what ran past bitch, I want my money. Checked himself out the game. The next day, Cotton tried to kill me and Tom, virtually the whole team in practice because he felt that that's the reason we didn't play. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Michael will tell. Oh my goodness, wow, <laughs> all right. <laughs>